I had a request not long ago to turn some more cedar. A while ago I turned what I called a solid cedar bull and that was very well received on YouTube. Getting close to 2 million views on that one. No doubt this chunk of wood was cut from the same tree as the other one because the grain is uh, very, very similar. Just a gorgeous pattern. Yellow striping. I'll turn this one a little bit different shape though. I've got it secured with four screws to a faceplate and that's how I mount it on the lathe. So as always the first thing is to uh, true it up, make it nice and round and then start working on the bottom of the bowl. And In this case uh, I'm not going to shape the top half of the outside at all until I flip it around. My intent for the overall shape of this, uh, as you're looking at it from the side, it would be uh, a basic oval shape, or maybe a fishbowl. Uh, it's probably got a better name than fishbowl, but uh, you'll see what I mean. It curves in towards the base, and it will, uh, the rim will curve in the same way. Here I'm just establishing the foot, and in doing so I'm going to have to uh, modify all the shaping that I've already done. Just got to get that perfect curve in there. It's such a joy to turn cedar. just such a nice wood. Soft and beautiful. Here I'm just cutting out the mortise which I'll use when I reverse mount this onto the chuck. Even sanding this piece was a pleasure. Look at this grain pop. That's just denatured alcohol. I'm deburring it. I'll hit it again with the 500 grit sandpaper, but isn't that something? The yellows and purples and browns. Oh my. And it's time once again before we start working on the top side of this to take a look at what some subscribers have made. George Brill turned this beautiful pot out of mesquite and used some resin to fill a void. And also made this bracelet. So pretty. These amazing items were made by Wayne. Wayne has a YouTube channel. It's called Wayne the Woodturner. You all go check that out. He needs some attention there. Paul Bylan made this beautiful platter. Paul's a veteran of the United States Army, served in Vietnam, and Paul, I want to give you a personal welcome home. Thanks for your service. You are appreciated, brother. I 
I want to take this time also to give a special shout out to all of my subscribers. Those of you that have been with me for the long haul and those of you that have just subscribed, thank you so much. And here you can see that shape I was talking about start to form. It's just a continuous curve, rim to base. And I'll take that in just a little bit more towards center. When it's all said and done. You can see here that I've pulled the tailstock back and pivoted the uh, headstock out so it could access the center of the bowl more easily. I like to leave the tailstock up as much as possible, but in this case the bowl's uh, just too narrow towards the center. It was in the way. And the chuck has a good firm hold on this piece of wood, and I double check that often. And as you can see, I'm working on the inside of the uh, walls of this bowl. I want to make sure that they're a nice even thickness all the way through and the contours match. So it has a nice feel to it. And I switch down to that half inch gouge just, just for ease of access. A little bit more delicate turning in some cases. And you can see I switch back and forth. I did the same process uh, up through the grits to 500 and then applied the denatured alcohol to raise the grain, deburr it, and look at that grain, it's so beautiful. Just gorgeous. That denatured alcohol evaporates really fast. That's uh, one of the reasons I like to use it for deburring. I was sanding it again to 500 grit, and here I'm adding OB Shine Juice. Look at that grain. I'm using this more as a base coat uh, than a finishing coat, although I am uh, getting it somewhat shiny here. I'm going to take a couple other steps with this bowl. And that first extra step is what I'm doing right here, sanding it down to 1200. 
making it feel just like glass. And then I applied some high gloss paste wax and got a beautiful sheen. Depending on how the light hits this bowl, the purple comes out or the brown comes out. But look at the yellows in there. This is some beautiful wood. And it was an absolute pleasure to turn this bowl. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Semper Fi.